This tutorial will demonstrate how to search Ovid Medline for systematic reviews and meta-analyses. To start, click on the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. For our systematic review or meta-analysis search, we will use the following clinical question. In laboring women delivering in the hospital, does positioning the patient in other postures than the supine position lead to a decreased incidence of assisted deliveries? Before we begin to search, we first need to adjust our question to fit the PICO format. The PICO format helps define questions to address specific clinical issues and aids in finding relevant evidence in the literature. P stands for the patient, population, or problem, I for intervention, C for comparative intervention, and O for outcome. Using the PICO format, we'll choose the following subject terms to structure our search, population, women in labor, intervention, positioning, comparison, supine positions, and outcome, assisted delivery. We'll now conduct a search for MeSH terms that fit each of our PICO elements. Let's start with our population. Make sure that the map term to subject heading box below the search bar is checked. Enter the words women, labor, and click search. The first page that we are taken to is a list of possible medical subject headings that were mapped to our search terms of women, labor. Each subject heading has a scope note indicated with the blue eye icon. The scope note includes a definition of the subject heading along with possible uses for the term. For our search, we will select three subject headings by checking the box next to the following terms, labor, obstetric, obstetric labor premature, and delivery obstetric. We will also want to explode our terms in order to pick up any subject headings that fall under the category of terms that we have chosen. Click the explode box next to our three chosen terms. Before hitting search, make sure that the option for combine with is set to OR. The OR command tells the database that we want our results to have at least one of the subject headings that we have selected. If we changed the option to AND, we would tell the database that we want our results to have all three of our selected terms, which would drastically limit our results. After you have checked that the option is set to OR, Hit the continue button to run the search. We now have a set of over 125,000 results. Each result will have one of the three subject headings that we have selected. Let's now run a new subject heading search for our next PICO element, positions. Sometimes you are not immediately given a subject heading that fits your search term. For example, enter the term positions and click search. We are again presented with a number of subject headings that were mapped to our search term. Unfortunately, none of these terms accurately describe our broad term of position. So let's vary our search term. Hit the search button located at the top left corner of the page to return to the main search screen. This time, let's try patient position. From this simple adjustment, we have a vastly different set of subject headings to use. As we did previously, we can pick more than one subject heading. Select the following two subject headings by checking the box next to these items, posture and patient positioning. Also, let's explode both terms again. Check that the combine with option is set to or and click continue. 
we now have a new set of results. Each result will have at least one of the two subject headings that we selected. So far on our search, we have completed searches for two of our PICO elements, women in labor and positions. We could continue to search for our remaining PICO elements by conducting similar subject heading searches. However, we will work with just these two sets of search results for now. If we need to, we can always add more subject headings to further limit our searches. Our next step is to combine the two searches that we have already completed so that we can retrieve results that pertain to both women in labor and positions. Click the check boxes next to our two searches, and then click the AND button next to Combined With. Again, this command tells the database to retrieve results that have at least one of the subject headings from both of our two searches. You should retrieve over 1,000 results. This is a huge set, so we definitely need to limit further. We could search for additional subject headings pertaining to our PICO statement, such as supine position or assisted delivery, and add them to our result set using the AND command. However, we could also limit our results by publication type. For our search, we know that we are looking for a specific type of publication, systematic reviews or meta-analyses. To limit our results to a certain type of publication, scroll down to the blue box located under the search box and click the Additional Limits button. We now have a list of all limits available in this database. Scroll down to the Publication Type section located on the right. You can select multiple publication types using the Control key on PCs or the Command key on Macs. Select both Meta Analysis and Systematic Reviews. Once selected, scroll back up and click the Limit a Search button. You now have a small set of results, several of which apply to your question. When searching for systematic reviews and meta-analysis, it is best to start by using only one or two subject headings pertaining to your PICO question. If you still have a large number of results after limiting the publication type, you can always add in new subject headings using the AND command. You can also limit your results by English language and publication year. To learn about searching for other types of studies, check out more of the library's evidence-based practice tutorials. Happy searching!